The Nintendo 3DS might be Nintendo's best ever console. And I mean that in so many different ways, because it was successful. I know the 3DS kind of had a rocky start, but in the end, it was a huge success. The whole DS family in general is just amazing, and I hope that we go back to that style one day, because they obviously haven't made this clamshell type of device in several years now, because the Switch is the Switch. The Switch only has one screen, it's a completely different console, and they don't make 3DS consoles anymore. But in my opinion, every single gamer must have a 3DS in 2024. I think it's an amazing console. It's just so perfect for on the go, leisurely play, or just like around the house, whatever. So I had a 3DS as a kid. I purchased this 2DS XL a couple of years ago on eBay. Also guys, I'm doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers where I'm giving away $20 Nintendo eShop gift cards. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. But my childhood 3DS is gone, unfortunately. I no longer have, I don't know what happened to it. I It got lost somewhere. I, I have no idea. I haven't seen it in like 10 years. So I wish I could get that thing back. Maybe one day I'll find it or just, you know, buy another one. But the 3DS truly was an extremely unique device. Like one of my favorite features right off the bat is the street pass feature. And if you don't know what that is, and I'm sure everybody does know what that is, it's pretty much when you walk past somebody that also has their 3DS on, like in their pocket or backpack, whatever, it kind of like sends a signal to the other 3DS and you kind of like trade information in a way. And I think that's super cool. And I really hope that some type of feature like that comes out again in the future. I don't know when, because I don't think the Switch is the right to have a console for that, but maybe one day we'll get a new type of, you know, Game Boy DS, you know, with, with the clamshell design where it's easy to be portable, which the Switch is portable, but just because of how the Joy-Cons are, you can't really like slide it in your pocket. The screen you can slide in your pocket just fine, but the Joy-Cons are the issue. And I wish I had my childhood 3DS like throughout, you know, a couple years after it came out because I really didn't get too much use out of my childhood 3DS. I honestly rediscovered the 3DS, you know, back in 2021 maybe, which I know sounds crazy. Everyone can call me a fake gamer, whatever. But, you know, I have I don't have any street passes on this 2DS and I wish I did. Another thing that's so amazing about the 3DS is the library. There are so many amazing games on here. There are just tons and tons of games. You could play DS games because it's backwards compatible with the DS, which is amazing. That's that's fantastic. I just think that the games on the 3DS are so fun and they have that special Nintendo feel. Like I'll go through some of mine. In the future, I want to do a what's on my 3DS video. But like, you know, I have Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, Pushmo, the Pushmo and Crashmo series are really good games, by the way. I, I recommend those games highly. Of course, gotta get some Mario Kart. I need to download more games. I don't have a ton at the moment, but Pilot Wings Resort, that's an amazing game. If you don't know what that is, basically you're on Woohoo Island, which is, you know, the island from Wii Sports and stuff like that. You fly around and it's, it's just such a fun, chill game. You know what I'm saying? Like Donkey Kong Country Returns, a classic right there. Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. I think I have another Zelda game on here as well. Maybe... Maybe I don't. Marvel Pinball. But this this is just the surface. Like, there are just so many amazing games on the 3DS, whether it's first party or even third party. Like it's it's seriously an endless supply of games to play. Like you could literally play games on this for years and years. And I believe that people also like you could also download fan-made games if you have a modded 3DS. And I know it's kind of scary to talk about modded 3DSs and stuff on YouTube. I've heard some horror stories, but you know. I wouldn't say that's a bad feature about the 3DS if you if you catch my drift, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like I said earlier, just since it's backwards compatible, you could play all DS games. Like currently, I'm also playing through Pokemon Black, which is a Nintendo DS game because I want to play Black and White too, but I haven't played Black in so many years, so I'm going back through it right now. I haven't played it in about a week, so I gotta I gotta hop back on that. And you could even download some Game Boy and Game Boy Color games and Game Boy Advance games, you know, from the eShop, which obviously is closed now, but you know, there are still ways to get it. Once again, if you catch my drift, you can still play some Game Boy games on your 3DS. Another thing that's so cool is like, the 3DS is so customizable. Like I have a custom background right now and it moves as, you know, the screen moves across. There are so many different backgrounds I actually can get. There's custom like music in the back, like, you know, you know, sound effects and stuff like that. This thing tracks your steps. You could use it, you know, to for health stuff. It's just such a cool device that you can literally just bring wherever you want like this. I bought this secondhand, so it has a ton of scratches. 
In retrospect, I kind of wish I bought one in better condition, but at the same time, I actually love that it's all scratched and beat up because I could throw this thing in a bag or a backpack and not care about it because it's already all damaged. And it's like, you know, it's pretty durable. Like I'm not slamming it on the ground, you know, or anything like that, but I could just throw it in my backpack. I'm obviously not gonna throw it in like a bag full of like change or something stupid like that. I'm obviously just talking about like, you know, with my laptop or whatever's in my backpack, you know, phone chargers and stuff like that. Or I could even put it in my back pocket. It's like pretty much the size of an, an iPhone, probably a little thicker, it's kind of thick. But here I have a Game Boy Advance. Like the Game Boy Advance is actually thicker than the 2DS XL, which I don't have a 3DS or 3DS XL or new 3DS, whatever on me right now. I also do have a DSi. Oh, okay, that's fantastic. But yeah, all right, the okay. Shoot, I cannot get this thing. Okay, there we go. Got it back. I also got a DSi right here, which I love the DSi. I think the DSi is fantastic. But the 2DS XL is just slightly thicker than the DSi. But yeah, the DSi is awesome. If you've never seen one, I'm sure everyone has, but this is what the DSi looks like. It's it's basically a DS Lite with no Game Boy slot, which is a little unfortunate, but I love the DSi, and that's my childhood one, which is even cooler. For me, you know, I didn't necessarily have my 3DS throughout my entire childhood. I did at first when it came out. I think I had it for about two years, maybe. No, probably about three years after its release, and I used it, played some games on it, and like I said, I, I, I lost it. I moved across country at that time, so I think it probably just got lost within that move. It might be in my house somewhere. But like, there are so many games that I missed out on throughout the 3DS's lifespan that I'm playing through now and I'm having a blast with. Like, for example, I never played Pokemon Alpha Sapphire as a kid. I played Pokemon X and I had Rumble Blast as a kid. I, I liked those a lot, but Alpha Sapphire is a fantastic game. I think Rumble Blast is super fun as well. Pokemon Moon, on the other hand, that's a different story. Going back to like the customizable stuff, the new 3DS XL has customizable backplates. So with this is a new 2DS XL, which, you know, some people are saying that's not a 3DS, but it is a 3DS. It just doesn't have the 3D feature, which I honestly don't really care too much about. But the 3D feature on the 3DS is super cool. And sometimes I get bummed that I don't have it, but it's not a big deal. So the new 3DS XL has customizable faceplates, meaning like you could take this off. So if I wanted to change this, Black Nintendo, you know, striped design. I could put a Charizard or, or another, you know, character on it, which I think is so cool. Like the 3DS is extremely customizable in every single way. Like you have, you could have Mies on here. You can, you know, change your background, your music, your, it, it, it's just such a cool device. And it also has a camera, which the camera is not good, but it's kind of aesthetically pleasing, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, over the years, I, I hope to just play more and more 3DS games. Like currently, I know this is not a 3DS game, but I'm playing through Pokemon Black and I'm gonna play Black and White too. But eventually I'm gonna start Link Between Worlds, which I've never played, but I'm extremely excited to. And there are so many games on here that are just like, some people say are some of the best in whatever franchise that may be, or they're just, you know, ported on here. Like there's also, Le there's also Luigi's Mansion, which I really wanna play and I think I, if I'm wrong, correct me, please. But I believe this is the remake of the GameCube version on the 3DS. I may be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. But I've never played that, and I'm extremely excited to get to that eventually. After I finish Pokemon Black, of course, because I, I don't really like starting too many games at one time. Like, I, I, have, I have several games that I'm playing through right now, and, you know, I don't want to get to... I don't want to start too many different games. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. What, what is your favorite thing about the 3DS? It could be anything. Just, like, the nostalgia, the games, the library, the customizations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.